Alright guys, welcome back to some Yakuza Kiwami 2. We are right back where we left off. Um, we got a... We we're kind of just killing time. There is a marker to go to. I just wanted to pick up some food real quick though, because it's been a minute. Um, sorry, I need 10. Oh, that's only 150. Fuck. I need to learn to count. Whatever. We'll just leave it at that for now. Just, I, I just want to do that every now and again, because once it gets low enough, it's worth it to just go and do it real quick. Let's do stun. And boost our attack. Come on, you guys wanna fucking go? I'll throw all your asses into the river. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Is that a gun? No. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going. This chapter should be over soonish. It's been a really good chapter so far. If you didn't watch the last episode, him and, uh, fuck. Fuck. Um, fuck. What's her name? See, ah, god damn it. I know her name. I know her name. I'm just struggling at the moment. Um, her name is. What is her name? What is her name? Um. Fuck. I know her name. Like, as soon as you said it, like, I'll be able to know. I'll know who it is. My brain's just fucking broken right now. But we spent some time with her. Um. Which was pretty cool to see. Um, and yeah, we did just like a chill kind of chapter so far, really. I don't know who this guy is. なんて、それを捨てたら後悔するんじゃねえのか。なんやとそれ、入れ墨の死体だろう。しかも、普通の図柄じゃねえ。なんであんたそれは、ひょっとして筋本か。ま、近いところだ。兄ちゃん、うちによって茶の一杯でも飲んでけや。ついてこいや。帰ったぞ。お帰りなさい、師匠。わしの客人や。あいつに見つからんようにしまっとけやあ、はいおい、何してんねんあんたも早く来いやお客さん、どうぞ奥へあ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Oh, you've heard of uh, me? Yes, from the master who did the piece on my back. Your back, huh? That certainly has some weight uh, to it. An artist named Utabri too inked it. Utabri? The mm -hmm. Utabri? You know him? Of course I know it. Tattoos may span the globe over, but it's a small world. Get to be a master, you'll name, your, your name will get around. So can I ask why you were about to throw the design away? Oh, that. I hate that it goes in and out of fucking dialogue that's actually voice acted. What was the point of that? <laughs> oh my god. The design's actually a bit of a family heirloom passed down for generations. Then why would you throw it away? Well, uh... What was that? What happened, Akina? Master. Satoshi was just here and he took the design. Hmm? What? It was stolen. Yes, but we know who did it. It was the master's first student. Wait, what's going on? Him and this damn war of succession are the reason I was trying to... Be rid of that accursed piece. Succession war. Huh? Let me fill you in. I swear to God. Okay. I'm actually looking to retire soon. I was just thinking. Akina here would take up the mm. name. Her. That's right. But the world the world of tattoos is a world for, of men. And Satoshi, my older pupil, didn't take too kindly to the idea. Satoshi is the thief. Yes. And he's ten years my senior. Considering the world, the world you come from, I'm sure you understand the importance of seniority, yes? Imagine someone ten years your junior passing you up and she's a woman at that. His pride and his ego are wounded. But you're naming Akina as your successor because she's better, right? That's right. There's an art to tattoos that goes beyond simple skill or techniques. You're not a master until you can see your client's fates in the ink of your work. Satoshi's just not there yet. Master, but I don't. I know. Unfortunately, the other part of this little war is that Akina ain't willing to take the name. Why not? She won't tell me either. But even if she won't take it, I'm not about to hand it to Satoshi like it's some kind of consolation prize. He's not ready to be Kazuhori 5. Now I see what brought you down to that river, right? And that's why Satoshi stole the dragon. If I won't give him the name, it seems he'll take it by force. Wait, what, what are you... My tattoo is a strong resemblance to that design. What? Uh. But, yes, a dragon. Really? But I've heard Utabori give that to a man in the Tojo clan. Considered it his magnum opus, and that was almost 20 years back. I don't believe he's done any dragon since. Even I've heard that story. So you're really uh. him? I'm Kazuma Kiru, and yes, I was once in the Tojo clan. Incredible. Mm. Master Utabori taught me about both the value and the weight a tattoo carries, which is why I won't stand by while... Satoshi undermines all of it. I'm going to get your design back, and in return, Kina, will you tell us why you refuse to take the Kazahori name? Hey, Kina, I think that's a fair bargain. Satoshi has set up shop in a building in Shelf Kochu. Got it. Alright, let's go. I think this chapter is way longer than I thought it was going to be. Because I thought it was going to end, but this le legit seems like filler. Because this is literally just side, side activity, basically, that they're forcing you to play. So I, I think it's they, they're literally just throwing filler into the game. Try and make it as long as they possibly can. What the fuck? I got a blue bun, hell yeah. My 
fucking retarded? It's either under me, above me, or in this building. <laughs> nice one, bro. Oh. Yeah, this is all I need to really become Kazahori 5. The guy with this dragon on it. But this dragon on his back is the talk of the whole town right now. And when the rest of Osaka wants in on the ink that made a legend, they'll come knocking. Sorry if you hear the dogs barking. You're Satoshi? Yeah. And who the hell are you? I'm here to take back the design you sold from your master. I'll be taking my dragon. Oh, so Akina is sending heavies after yeah. us now. No, I'm here because you don't deserve that design. The f who the fuck you think you are talking to me like that? You know how many Yakuza we've dealt with over the years? Chumps like you always think you're tougher than mm. you are. Then we're done talking, but I guess you just haven't learned to fear it yet. I'll teach you. That's our line, asshole. You're gonna regret coming here. Got your design back. You, you old bastard, can't you see she's got you wrapped around her finger? Satoshi, you're blind. You don't understand the true artistry of tattoos. What are you blabbing about? <sighs> your fingers know their way around the ink, but your soul can't see the colors. That's the difference between you and Akina. More of this pretentious bullshit. Tattoos are a permanent part of a person's life, Satoshi. Changes them. <sighs> Someone like you who's been putting ink on 2-bit street punks for money just goes to prove what little you contribute to the art. The tattoo nurtures the man who bears it, and in turn, the design finds its home on their skin. Oh yeah? Then tell me, master. Who's got that golden dragon on his back now? He's some great hero? Say his name. Who does have that dragon? His name is Ryuji Goda. Nani. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, that Ryuji Goda. You gave your ultimate tattoo to some crazy fuck, and now you want to lecture me about art? It's not true. The master didn't give him that tattoo. Akina. What? I was the one who inked the golden dragon. Damn, bitch. Ten years ago, I remember Gozaryuji. I ダイダイスターラのリュウ。これことを決めたんや。せやけど筋彫りしようとした時、わしの手は動かんようになってしもた。そうなんです。だから私がその続きを師匠に代わって掘ったんです。That tattoo was yours? That's how I learned the true way of being a tattoo artist, and I've never been more scared. Luigi go to climb the ranks of the Omi Alliance, and now he's call clawing his way toward the throne itself. I never dreamed a man bearing my ink could become what he has. Akina, that's why you deserve the name. Master Tattoo is calling, calling is to make bigger men of their clients, so that's why you rejected the Kazahori name. Yes, I'm afraid of giving men like him more power. Akina. 
俺はこの竜を背負ってから多くの者を植えて多くの者を失っただが俺は竜を掘ったことも今の自分があるのも全て運命だったと思ってる<音声>あんたたちがゴーダリュウジに掘ったことは間違いじゃないギリュウさん力を持った人間はよく道を間違えるだから人間なんだだがその道を正すのはあんたたちの仕事じゃないあんたたちを掘り死には掘った男の天末を見届けることしかできないアキナさんもしあんたに掘り師としての責任があるなら風堀を継承して龍二の行く末を見届けるべきなんじゃないのかキリュウさんそれじゃあなキリュウさん私もう逃げません五代目風堀を継ぎますありがとうございましたOkay, now that's the end of chapter 10. So let's keep it going and start up chapter 11. We more than likely will not be able to finish chapter 11, though, because chapter 10 was a fucking hour and a half almost. Surprisingly. Like, that was a really long chapter. It was a good chapter, though. I liked it. The Iron Creed. That's a cool name. It's almost ten. Siyama's waiting for me at the Iowa Bridge. Siyama, that's who he was meeting with the last episode. <laughs> They spent like a, a whole night together. Got real close. It was pretty cool. Hey, it's the guy who's supposed to have a lot of money but actually only has like 20,000 yen. Oh, it's because I got too close to the fucking thing. Sir, you can go. What did you do? Last night, when you were talking about the past, you were feeling bad. You were feeling bad? Yes. I was feeling bad as a Jingon fan. どういうことだママの言っていたことから推測して私の両親が二十数年前登場会に殺されたとするなら両親は登場会に敵対していた人号派の人間って考えるのが自然じゃないお前も人号派の生き残りそう考えてもおかしくないでしょ村井に会いに行くのはやめるか自分の過去から逃げたくないきましょう。Is it like <laughs> Why couldn't he light that shit up and walk? The chief said we'll find Murai somewhere called Kima. I need to hear what he has to say. You sure about this, though? Don't worry about me. Whatever you can say, I can handle it. But first, we'll need to hit the streets to see if we can even find the place. Fine. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna fucking look at the map, pull up location list. It's not a burger joint. It's not a store. It's not a gambling place. Cool. So it's literally just not a named location. 
Awesome. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Let's go to stats. Somewhere over here. Oh, it's marked now. Never mind. Where's the uh oh the pawn shop's right here. Alright, let's go in here. I yeah, got yeah, some it. shit to sell. Not weapons. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be, but still decent. Is there a drugstore anywhere over here? It's all the way over there. We'll be fine for now. It's almost time to get more food, though. Yeah. Almost time. Not quite. But it's getting there. Don't force me into a fucking... God damn it. Men. Huh? I'm sorry, I would read this, but... I would read this, but the, the, at the time right now, I just don't care that much about what's happening to these people. Now I'm forced into a fight. That's how you do that. Fine, I'll let you off the hook for now, but watch your back, buddy. I don't know why I read that part when I skipped the fucking rest. <laughs> Thanks, Ooh. Granny, for the fucking candy. I guess. How bad do you think this candy is that she just gave me? What the f- what the f- what? Why was there multiple? Why is there multiple angles replay? Jesus Christ! We just got raped by a fucking ninety-year-old woman. Look, he's on the ground after because he got fucking raped. He, okay. <laughs> oh fucking gay. Kiru definitely got fucking raped, and no one cares. Just gonna do the switch hitter so it fucking stops fucking up. Let's see. Let's see if her. Where is it? Granny's candy. It's a valuable. I can't even fucking eat it. Alright. Hey, excuse me, ever heard of a place called Kima? Uh -huh. Kima. I've heard the name, but I couldn't tell you where it is. I see. The reason I know it is know it though is because I knew a guy who was in and out of there back in the day. Then you do know it. How about three big bills for the tip? Uh. Fine. Oh. 
I do enjoy a smooth negotiation. Well, a deal's a deal. The guy who can get you in is a gambling man who go, goes by Gengaku. Gengaku? Gengaku. There's a rundown bar west of Shofoku called Mino. He used to hang out there. And that's all I know. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright. Let's keep it going. Hopefully we can pick up some food on the way. What is this? Kono meets this business might make a good partner. What? Alright, we partner with this. What? More fans? What is it talking about? What the fuck? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something though. What the fuck am I doing? It's costing me 20,000 yen every time, but... I don't even know what the fuck it is. Oh, I passed it. I wasn't paying attention. Seeing if more of those things were gonna pop up. Okay. Kiru, you're a fucking dumbass. Oh, I go down right here. Got two more locker keys now, too. No good, it's locked. It's supposed to look pretty old, but look, there's a phone number on it. I'll just jot this down. It's probably a cell phone, give it a call maybe. When you want to make a phone call, select phone number and number from your valuables. I actually picked Oi. up. Hello? I have reason to believe you can tell me about a place called Kima. There's a popular hostess down at the Red Sirloin. Goes by Yukina Chan, and she's known for being pleasantly plump. Her mm. size, please? What the hell? What's that have to do with anything? There's a popular hostess down at the Red Sirloin. But I'm just gonna Google it. Yukina Chan Bus Measurement Um One ten, one hundred, one oh nine, you wanna enter this password with the keyers phone. One hundred one so what? It's a one ten. Uh okay. One ten one one nine one nine one one nine one one nine one nine. That's right. Made yourselves comfortable down at Minnow for a spell. Oi. Wait, what? <clears throat> Damn, he hung up. Back to the bar, I guess. Nanny. The door's unlocked. How strange. I was just... I was... They never left. Uh, what smells so mm. damn foul? Doesn't seem like this place has gotten much use lately. Mm. This note refers to shogi pieces from left to right. It says king, gold, general, silver, general, and pawn. What's the significance? Shogi board is a piece from left to right. It's the gold general, rook, king, pawn, bishop, and silver general. Hmm. The save code was already part of that when I googled her bus size. The save code is right there, so I saw it. 
Boy. I could have used my brain right there and counted those pieces, but what? Sure, I'll just take it. Hello? Well done. Wasn't that simple? Now, go order a Christmas present at coal mine. What the? He hung up. Alright, well, let's go to coal mine or whatever the fuck it said. Time for food anyway. Hi there, I was told to order a Christmas present. Ah, that. Just take a seat, sir. Hmm? There's something hard in this. What the hell? Jesus Christ. Come see us again. Well, I found this in the food. A shogi piece. What do you think it means, though? Oh. Hey, buddy, what a coincidence. Did you get to meet Gengaku? Yeah. No, but the latest hoop I jumped through ended up giving me this shogi piece. Uh -huh. That's so. Uh, oh, hey. That piece. That's not a real my piece, mm -hmm. is it? Excuse me? Look. Why didn't you just give me that piece, bud? Not like it means anything to you. Am I right? I'm still not sure what all this is supposed to mean, quite uh -huh. frankly. Then come on, hand over the piece. Huh? We're not gonna just hand it over while we're in the middle of this wild goose chase. Wanna explain why it's so important? Mm. Who are you happy, bitch? If you won't hand it over, it's only gonna bring you pain. Alright, we're gonna get fucking fucked up. Music is fire. Damn you. So, care to tell us what's so important about this piece? It's your turn to be the yappy bitch. <sighs> that piece, it was crafted by a master, considered a treasure among us shogi players. It's basically a golden ticket into even the most underground shogi parlors and shogi. Any shogi player worth his salt would kill to have one, so I guess I'm letting you off the hook today. I won't show no mercy next time. Hello? Impressive work. That piece is quite covet- 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 uh, coveted? So I'd be careful if I were you. Come on, how long do we have to play this stupid game? Oh, don't be that way. This is fun for me anyway. No hard feelings, what? I hope. I just want to know where Kinga is. Show that piece to Santa Claus and his red-nosed reindeer will Dang. guide the way. What? Santa Claus? This is getting even more ridiculous. That's all the help I can, I'll give you. May your moves bring you closer to victory than we are. <sighs> Santa Claus. I'm gonna run to the farthest one. I think. I feel like it's going to be the farthest one. And if it's not, we'll just have to backtrack, but... Games like to be dicks, so it's usually the farthest one. That's not Santa. He's retarded. Timur Torosir. 
Excuse me, are you Santa huh? Claus by any chance? Santa Claus, do I look like a fat little drunk? Sorry to bother you. Oh, you think because I'm wearing red you can fuck with me? Well, Merry Christmas, motherfucker. God damn it. I'm just gonna run away. I can't run away. I'm forced into this. After this fight, I don't have that many heals left. That's how you do that. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to the drugstore. I am. No choice but to keep trying. Let's get over to the drugstore real quick though, cause... Actually, we'll eat real quick and then we'll go to the drugstore. I ate there last time though, so I'm not gonna go there again. Let's go to this one. Let's get everything I didn't get. Math, bitch. Alright, let's go to the drugstore. Past it. It's this one. Alright, let me get... Let's see. We'll do the Stamina Royale. I'll do as many of those as I can get. I can get cool. All right, let's go find the other fucking Santa Clauses. Watch it be the one that's right next to the fucking thing, and I it's the one I skipped because I thought it was too close. Just watch. I'm gonna open H2 first. Blood cloaked chain nail. Nice. Fuck, dude. B5 was dog shit. Okay, so is that chain mail any better than anything I have on? Its attack is fucking kinda nutty. Its defense is a little lower than everything else, but it's not my much. I think I'm gonna leave that on. And we're gonna rock this. Cause that'll bring our attack way the fuck up. Then I need to equip something else, so we'll just do the fucking thing. There we go. Stats. I'm trying to get these done so these cops stop fucking popping up. It's so annoying when they pop up. 
Alright, now it's only five. Uh, we're gonna do blind resistance, and then we're gonna just dump the rest in the uh, base stats. Cool, cool. We're doing real good, I think. I think we're we're at a good point in the game, like in terms of our stats and where they at at this moment. Boy. Excuse me, are you Santa Claus by any chance, huh? You think it's why is it spelled that kind of nonsense that strangers that take your nuts? Sorry to bother you. Fucking with me? If you want Santa so bad, here's a goddamn present. <laughs> Dude, she, she, she's like close to dying and her health's not coming back. It's worrisome as fuck. Boom. Cool. Oh, damn. So attacks the highest it can go. I guess. Defense can go up one more, though. But attacks the highest it can go right now. From what I can tell. Because it says I already learned it. But then this says that I just don't have enough XP. Maybe you have to progress to a certain point in the game too. I don't know. I mean, I might be able to do that, like deductive reasoning to think why that guy Santa Claus over the other guy. We're gonna keep running because her health isn't fucking regenerating. Nope. Come on, bitch. God. Fuck. Fuck. She better she's, she's still alive for now. Oh, see, there's more of this. I don't know what these are. I'm just gonna do them every time, though. That makes more sense as Merry Christmas next to and all that. Huh? Something you need? I should show him oh. that piece. Piece who referred you. Kingaku. Huh. Don't know how you got it, but... Hey, my circus ain't my monkey. Follow me. Alright. We're running things from here today. It took a little bit, but we're, we're here. We're finally here. <laughs> that definitely it was interesting.
杉浦平之助の作品やないかよう手に入れたのほんで誰と刺したんや村井だ村井村井という男よ村井さんねこれは昭和59年名人戦最終局の142手目の場面やここで挑戦者の矢蓋は5八馬とさして勝負に出ただがこれが敗因で矢蓋は負けた4三に銀を打って王を固めるのが定石なことはプロなら誰でもわかるのに。ヤブタはなぜか勝負に出た皆はボンミスや言うがわしにはそうは思えんかった聞きたいことがあるんです若い女子に答えられるようなことは何一つあらへん府警の別所からあなたのことを聞いてきたんです安心してください私は別所の部下です人言派のことをお聞きしたいんです二十数年前のカムロ町での事件覚えていますよね私もその時に生き残った一人かもしれないんですあの時現場にまだ物心がつかない子供はいませんでしたか一人おった詳しくく聞かせてください何も知らんでも生きていけるのならその方がいい教えてください矢蓋は名人戦に負けた後公式戦から遠ざかって酒を浴びるほど飲んで体を壊して死んでしもた絶対に名人になるんやと思っとったが多分己の実力じゃ無理や言うことを悟ったんやそれが自分の運命やとなせやから最後に自分らしい手を指して死を選んだんや人生中のは残酷やあんたは今まで過去を知らんでも生きてこれたんや余計なことを知っていらぬ運命を背負うことはないどんな過去でも受け止める覚悟はできていますだからあなたに会いに来たんですお願いします教えてくださいお願いしますあれはクリスマスの夜やったクリスマスお祭り気分のわしらの隙をつくように同時マグミが襲ってきてアジドにいた構成員は次々と葬られた。けどあなたを含めた3人が運よく生き残ったあああなたは河原さんと別所さんの助けで関西に逃れたのねせやけど本国から送られてきた構成員に居場所を突き止められてしもただがわしはこうして生き延びることができたどうしてを打ったんや生き残った他の二人を撃ったのじゃあキム・デジンとジヨンミンやないキム・デジンとジヨンミン当時二人は十六歳やったがなぜか難を逃れたその後の行方はわからんそれじゃああなたが撃った仲間っていうのは誰なの実は
あと2人おったんや生き残りがそれはボスの女房とその子供や子供救助が外れてわしは生き残ってしもた。それからもらいという名前をもらってこうして生き延びとるんやじゃあ佐山の父親は神言派のボスその後ボスの奥さんと子供はどこへ河原さんがこっちへ逃がしたんやじゃああなたは自分が助かりたいためにその親子を本国の組織に売ったのねその後その二人がどうなったかは知らんがな母親は死んで子供だけが助かったのよほんまあんたがあん時の子供なんかその子の父親を殺したのは誰なの名前は知らんが顔はよう覚えとるひげを生やした男やったそれは風間のおやさんだ俺を育ててくれたあの風間慎太郎だ本当にああ俺もその場にいた分かんないよ人言派の連中かそうだビルのバカも誘拐もてめえらの仕業だな<笑>そうだと思うあんたには礼を言うその裏切り者の居場所を突き止めてくれたんだからなこの男に手出しする前に郷田会長の居場所を吐かせてやる無駄やそいつらは本国の戦衛部隊や絶対に口を割るようなことはせん。さあ、ゴーダ会長の居場所を教えてもらおうか。<笑>その前にあの世に送ってやる。はい、hopefully I can save in the middle of the fight because we don't have time to finish. Any of this, and I, I can't film anymore. Fuck me. God damn it. Oh shit. Alright, we're gonna have to just try to get it done.
I can't film any more episodes for like that. What I might end up doing is if we like can't finish the fight before the we ha I have to end the video or something. Um, I'll just like kind of give you a summary of what happened right after it, and then I'm just gonna stop playing as soon as as soon as I can save, and I'll just give you a summary of anything that happened. I'm gonna heal. Stop! He's dead. Oh no, he's not. No, he's dead. Safe. Go the question I was God is this. Damn, did he just fucking dump cyanide in his mouth? さんに She's pissed off. Dude, just enough time. We literally have a minute left before the video automatically forces an end. So we finished chapter 11 in this episode. So next episode, we'll start chapter 12. Um, that was a really good chapter. I enjoyed it. Um, and I enjoyed the chapter right before it a lot, too. So game's, game's starting to get good again. It was getting a little shitty there in the middle but it's starting to get good again there's like two or three chapters where i just did not like it It was a lot of filler but now it's starting to get better but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of yakuza kiwami 2 if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future and i will see you guys very soon in the next one stay safe out there peace out guys